Six million Jews were killed during the Holocaust. An act of kindness by a stranger saved almost 1,200 more from being killed. One of those battalions of soldiers came through my hometown, surrounded it, drove the Jewish people out of their homes, and murdered the men that day, buried them in a common grave. And the women and children were held in a barn for several more days, and they too were murdered. So as a result of the action of that one battalion of soldiers, everyone who was related to me in Poland died except those of us who lived in Krakow at the time, which was my second oldest brother and the rest of my, uh, the siblings. When Schindler came to uh, Poland to make his fortune, he came to Poland to make a lot of money, which he did. Mm -hmm. And so when he acquired this factory, uh, it was right across the street from where my father worked. And that's the reason why we came to Krakow. My father was hired by Schindler. He was one of the first Jews that Schindler hired. And then when Schindler was increasing, adding more people to his camp, to his factory, my father asked him to add my mother and me. And this is when I got on the Schindler's list. Schindler was an entirely different kind of person from the ones that operated the ghettos and the ones that operated the camps who treated out this non-human, you know. And, uh, when Schindler spoke to us, he spoke to us in complete sentences and waited for an answer. Uh, Nazis never did that, never just, Nazis just, you know, yelled single word commands at us, you know, like her house, snow, nose, and all, you know, it's just as if you were talking to a non-human. You know. But Schindler would stop, and sometimes he would stop and talk to me, you know. I was there running a machine, but I was standing on a box. I, <laughs> Uh, upside down because uh, I was too short. I was really short all, the whole time. The Nazis would often round up some of the Jews and transport them to the concentration camps to be killed. Leon's older brother was one of them. I didn't know my oldest brother very well because he had escaped and he was gone for several years already. So, uh, but he, this one, was my hero. Um, I find it very difficult to talk about him because uh, he was taken on one of these transports and it happened to be the same one. By that time Schindler had quite a few Jewish workers there and he had the, an accountant who happened to be, have been rounded off and rounded up with the rest of the people on the transport. And when he found out about it, he went to rescue his accountant. But he then, as he was looking for him, he saw my brother and he offered to get him off the train. And my brother declined to get off. He was there with his girlfriend, and Schindler couldn't get her off, so he made a decision he would stay with her. Okay. They both died at the end of the line in a place called Belgitz, a death camp. But Leon, his younger brother, sister, and parents did survive things to Schindler. He and his parents immigrated to America after the war. Leon graduated, got married, and became a high school teacher in Southern California. In 1965, Leon Lazon had a chance to meet Oscar Schindler when he came to Los Angeles. And uh, it's, I was teaching some things that I actually learned in his, in his factory, you know. I was an industrial arts teacher. And when you, when you say that in German, it sounds a little better than industrial arts. The Fachlehrer means a, a teacher of trades. You know, so. Anyway, that, he, he, was, he was quite satisfied that I had uh, accomplished what I did.